Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and to the next part of our 100 baby challenge. Now I was going to play through the night, I've just got Madam off to bed, it's 1am in the morning on a Friday and she's absolutely exhausted um, but little one woke up to be fed and I'm thinking okay we'll feed her and go back to sleep and then we get the message that baby is coming. So I've just had to reload because I had a bit of a glitch with the graphics and stuff like that. For some strange reason all my defaults had reset themselves right back to the original. Right, so missus, can you please feed her on the floor? No, come on. Why? Won't let you do anything because the baby's coming. Is that what the problem is? No. Come on, why? Because you're in labour, you can't do anything, and this baby's going to have to just scream. Okay, well, can we have... You know, the baby will get you when the baby gets here. That's it. You're just going to have to scream, darling. I wonder if you wake up to again screaming because you're hungry. There you go. Right, so we're going to have to get your brother out of bed to come and feed her. Can he not feed her? Oh, I thought he could feed her. Oh, dear. Never mind. Go back to sleep, darling. She's just going to have to... She's just going to have to scream. Just going to have to scream. Right, come on, missus. Let's get through this. Let's have baby. Oh, and I need my baby names. Quick, walk even later. Sorry if I'm crashing things around, guys. Do apologise. Did I even write the baby names down? Please tell me I wrote the baby names down. Yes, I did. There we go. So let's just see. We're going to have multiple babies. Come on. Let's have twins or something. I know you're in a bad mood and the pregnancy is not going to go well, but it doesn't matter. Come on. I know, I know, darling, I know. Well, we've fixed all that. I know, darling, I know you're starving and social service is going to take you away. New baby boy. Pregnancy has its ups and downs, but she made the best of it. He was born with a grumpy and athletic traits. What do we want to call him? We are going to call him George, as suggested by Peggy. Thank you, sweetheart, for that. There we go, George. There we go. Oh, and we've got another baby boy. We've got twins. Woo, okay. Let's cross George out. And we are going to go with Anthony, as suggested by Laurie. Did you put a H in there, darling? I can't remember. No. So we're going to go with Anthony. There we go. Twins! We finally got twins! Awesome! Right, okay, okay, okay. Let's put this away. Don't fall off there and clatter and make loads of noise like you usually do. Okay. So there's one. The other one is on the floor because we need to buy another cot, which is fine um, when I remember where I'm going. Let us buy... We're going to need to extend this house. Wow. Okay, so let us buy another one of those and we will pop it, I hope, right there. Nope. Okay, this is going to be awkward. Let's also move this potty for a second to there. We will put this crib. I really need to download the cribs that just take one space. I must do that because I've got to get pregnancy stuff anyway. Okay, we are going to have to completely rearrange this house. Completely rearrange the house. There we go. So that can go there and the potty can go here, I guess. And then we will look at maybe extending the house later. So she has had twins, 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 which is awesome, apart from when they need skilling up. But we are fine. We're pros. We got this. We got this. On pause, please. Thank you. Let's go back onto normal speed. Can you please put... Um, Putting him in the crib. Can you feed her on the floor? Go and have a pee because you're desperate. Um. All right, we're coming, we're coming, we're coming. Okay, use that. I know you're exhausted, sweetheart. I know you are. But it's fine, it's fine. And when you've used that, I would like you to empty that and then we should be able to put her back in the crib. Come on. What's her energy level like? Yeah, see, her energy level isn't great. Otherwise, I'd just leave her to play for a while. There you go. We are not going to get much sleep today. Not going to get much sleep today. 
Right, so what I'm going to do, guys, is I am going to cut out just temporarily here, and I will get back to you when everybody is ready to get up in the morning. And welcome back, everybody. She hasn't had a full night's sleep, but she does kind of need um, to get up and take care of a few things around this house. So we are going to let her out. She still needs to um, learn to walk, but we're going to let her out. We're going to feed her on the floor, and we're going to let her take care of her own ladder and stuff like that while we run downstairs and clean out this spoiled food because there's a lot of bad food there and we're going to eat leftover plum pie and then we can see what else needs doing i mean she's not showered or anything she absolutely stinks the house isn't perfect but we've got all these babies at home and it's just gonna get even more hectic it is i mean we may end up employing a maid to do the cleaning up and all the rest of it because it's not like she can't afford it. She can. It's just that, they, you know, they do take a lot of money. We may end up having to get a, another dog or a cat or something. Right, so when you finished eating on the floor, darling... We're not going, we're not going, we're not going to parties. Okay? When you finished eating on the floor, would you please take yourself to potty? There we go. Clean all that out. You've got a lot to get done. I'll turn these on because they're going to have to... Take care of the garden at least. Um, no, come on, you're missing it. Why are you missing it? There we go, turn you on and just so that the garden's at least watered. I think it's important that we at least get that done because it is source of income at the end of the day. It's just hard with the. Stop it, you keep missing it. Hard with the little ones and stuff like that, but. These things happen, right? You're having something to eat. When you've done that, these kids are going to need taken care of again. Um, but when you've done that, can you quickly clean up there, darling? And then we need to pop upstairs to see what's going on. They're still asleep, so it's not like the end of the world. I think they need feeding on some social, which won't take long. And then we can maybe finish teaching her to um, walk. <coughs> the way they crawl with the head on one side like that is really freaky. Really, really freaky. You're washing all the dishes in the room and that's good. Right, okay, so when you've done that, I want you to come up here because these, I know you need a shower and stuff like that, but these babies are going to need taken care of. Let's just whiz round a little bit. That'll be easier. Right, so we're going to give him a bottle and we are going to um, play with and snuggle. And we're going to give you a bottle and snuggle and... Um, play with I guess we haven't got rock so there we go and then empty that and teach her to well we'll teach her to walk when we can let's just get these taken care of first that's it take care of your babies missus we're gonna have to get you pregnant again soon but no great rush no great rush Especially considering now we're, we're cranking out the multiples. We need to extend this house. We're probably going to have to go and... Um, we may end up having to get another... We may end up having to get another animal to help take care of us and stuff. But that's okay. Or we'll see if we can get a, like, um... The furnace thing for making glass and stuff. The glassworks thing. Maybe we can try using that. Just so she can get some extra money coming in. I mean, I know she's got the computer downstairs, so we need to maybe start using that as well. It's finding the time with all these babies. Once we get some teenagers in the house to help us out, it will be a lot easier. Okay, so you're putting the baby in the wrong crib. That's fine. I don't care where they go as long as they go. Don't care. Adam's at his friend's house after school. Why don't you come on home now, darling? Come on. We don't want you out after curfew. Aw, stupid. We do not. We do not want to be marked. Have we got a stray cat around the house? Is that the problem? Can we adopt it? I guess not. Okay. Oh. I know, baby, I know. And her energy is terrible, but 
We do have things we need to take care of. Okay, so relationships. We kind of need to break up with him, don't we? Um, who have we had babies with? This is the question. We had babies. I don't think we've had babies with you yet. So we will send friendly texts to him. Because they don't take long. Let's be honest. Okay, so that's that done. And then I want you to keep teaching her to walk. Come on. Um, Teach to walk. What are you doing? You're going for a shower. That's fine, mate. You go for a shower because you need to. You stink. When you've done that, I want you to go downstairs and get yourself something to eat. So have a shower first and then we'll sort you out. Where are you going? You're sending friendly texts. That's fine. You need a pee and you need a shower as well. And then you can probably head to bed too. How's she doing? Her energy's not that bad actually. Her hygiene is, but she's okay. She's okay. Right, darling, come on. You go downstairs. All the bad food's gone, so get yourself some leftover curry. Why not? We'll probably have to have another shower soon, but... I didn't mean shower. My brain just went completely blank then. I'm thinking, what did I just say? We're probably going to have to have another party soon. That's what I was trying to say. Oh, Wibweb. Where are we going to teach her to walk? Are you kidding me? All the way downstairs? Okay. No space anywhere else, I guess. We're going outside. I would hope not. There we go. Let's see how far. Well, she's quite a way off, actually, so we're not even going to get this all done today. But Good girl. We'll get a bit done. We will get some done. Right, darling, did you need to go to bed? Did you do your homework? Adam's homework is 100% complete. Good boy. Okay, then you can go to bed. Okay, and let's just have a quick look at your family tree because I need to know um, who we've had babies with. And are you due to age up into a full adult? Oh, dear. Okay, so you've had babies with Emilio. Of course we did. Hal. And Billy. Okay, so we've still got plenty of men on the table left for us. Um, yeah, use that. And then put her in the crib. And then we'll take it from there. Okay, she's doing well. We're going to stop that there. Because she actually needs to go to sleep. So I'm going to cut out again really quick, guys. And get back to you as soon as it's morning time. And welcome back, guys. She's actually slept through half of the day and is still absolutely exhausted. Um, everybody else is fine. She needs to pee and she needs something to eat. So we're going to do that quickly because she really needs to get this. Like, she really needs to um, feed herself. So feed yourself that and then I want you to clean that and clean up those because it's her birthday and it's Adam's birthday today so we kind of need to throw a little party I think one of the things we are going to do actually is we're not going to clean that and we're not going to clean that we are going to get ourselves a birthday present and we're going to hire a maid which means we're probably going to need to get another animal at some point but for the time being let her um order a maid service because she's gonna need some help taking care of this house with all these kids so services and call for services we will get ourselves a maid that can be our birthday present to us um adam's about to become a teenager so he's gonna be able to help out he's actually writing a book at the minute he's been a really good boy 
and helping his needs and everything are fine. So once he's a teenager, he can help with, you know, feeding and changing the kids and things like that, which will be awesome. So you are in a much better mood now, my darling, you are. Um, you might be able to take a nap this afternoon, we will see. He's just got some more money coming in for blatant lies. He's got to be close to finishing that book by now. Anyway, mm. but we will call for a maid service and we will let them... What's this? You want to snuggle at Anthony? Well, you want to talk to Adam and you want to see Adam age up well as well. So, we will have to see. We can't do everything. Don't wash the dishes. Let the maid do it. Come on. Call for services. Get a maid over here. So are you, baby. You're hungry and your social's down. Okay. We'll come and take <laughs> care of you in a second. Um, we would like to cancel the newspaper delivery for a start. Mm. And then we will um, call for services again. Muba. We will. Muba Zamba. Keep having these parties because then people keep bringing us food. That's what we need to do. <laughs> so we're going to have a bit of a birthday party. Okay, so we would like... Um, no, we can't have a babysitter. We want the maid. It's only 125 a day. It's not that bad. <sighs> there we go. Awesome. So now you can go upstairs to take care of this little one who is apparently hungry. <laughs> Come and feed your baby. Give bottle. Um, snuggle. And play with. I can see why people age these babies up straight away. I can see why they would. In all honesty. What's your mood like? You're getting a little bit hungry and your social's getting down as well. So when you've done that one, can you... Um, give a bottle there and we will... Play with and snuggle. There we go. And how are you, sweetheart? You're a little bit hungry and your social's a little bit down. That's fine. So we can feed you on the floor. And then we need to throw a party. There we go. I don't know if the maid's actually coming over today or not. I hope they are, but we can't guarantee it. And I think we might have bills to pay. Do we have bills to pay? Are you a maid? You're a maid. Oh, and it's a male maid as well, which is awesome. Um, okay, why can we not get the mail? Why can you not get in? Oh, Reboo Nubu. Noble Thorcrate. Yes, all right, darling. Mommy's coming. Come on, come on, come on. We've got to get this done. Feed you on the floor and throw a party. Is the maid in the house or what? There he is. He's in the house. Well, get cleaning up then. It's your job. Adam, are you okay, mate? Do you need anything while we're getting ready to throw this party? You need to pee. Can you stop doing that? Awesome. Can you please use that? Um, no, we're not doing that. Come on. Right, so we're going to have a birthday party, which starts at 9pm with casual attire, and we are going to invite him and him. We are going to invite him because we need to break up with him. We are going to invite him and um, I don't know you that well. We'll invite you. Where's the other guy that we were really good friends with? Was it you? We weren't really good friends with you, but we we're still good friends with you. We'll invite you and we'll invite you. That should be enough. Awesome. Right, use that. We are going to... What is wrong? Oh, no, you're fine. Um, we are going to buy two birthday cakes because we need two. Um, where would they be? I miss the, the Sims 4 when it comes to this. They are in outdoors. Well, that would help if we were in the right thing. Um, there we go. Outdoors. I think they're under activities. Yeah, there we go. One birthday cake for Mama, one birthday cake for Mr. Man, 
And that will do us, thank you. Hopefully people bring us loads of food. And we are good to go. So we're gonna get we're gonna have to get this party done. The kids are all fine. She can take herself to the party, so she's fine. They are pretty much taken care of. They are gonna cry at some point, but that's fine. What are you doing? Putting away that. That's fine. That's his job. Where is he and what's he doing? Where's the maid? Where did the maid go? Can you not get bills? I thought you had bills. Do we not have bills? We do have bills. Well, it's... Whatever, I can't get them. Stop. What is going on here? There we go. Right, let's go downstairs. And... Um, chat to him. Chat to him. I don't know where the maid went. We'll get everybody here. This is. What's going on? Look at all this food people are bringing. Yay! Bring us, Give us food. Give us food. Move this outside. The maids and stuff can take care of it tomorrow. Shabu. Who are we carrying and why? So you, you hygiene, so we're gonna have to take care of you then, aren't we? Okay. You screaming? No. Not yet. Oh, no, you are. Right, Mrs. I know you. Can you go and put um? Elizabeth down here and change this dirty diaper for me, please. Don't you do that. What's up with you? You need dirty diaper changed as well. That's fine. So you can change that dirty diaper. Adam, can you come downstairs? Look at all this food. Where are people putting the food? They're putting it in the fridge or what are they doing with it? Why can I not grab it? Like, come on, what's going on? All right, baby, Mama's coming. For some strange reason, like I can grab that one, but I don't seem to be able to grab that one. Just put away leftovers then. Weird. There, I think I can grab that now. Some people are putting it straight in the fridge. I don't know, so it's fine. It's fine. Right, so Mama's taking care of that. Let's get a decent... There we go. Mama's taking care of that. Can you blow out your birthday candles, please? Let's hate you up. There we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. So we can get him to a job. Which will be awesome because it's extra help around the house. Can we grab the shit? No, it just doesn't seem to want to grab from there at all. Can he not get to his cake? Is that what the problem is? Come on. Well, you can dance out. There's a good boy. Let's see what you age up into. We've got a teenager in the house. Right, enough of that. I want you to put that away. And then I want you to blow out your candles. Let's hope the game doesn't crash with all this going on, but it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. We will age them up in a second. This episode is hectic! Hectic. How long have we got left? Like 45 seconds. So we'll, we will see her age up and we will have a quick look at Adam and see what he looks like as he grows up as well. Oh, look, a dog. That hours though. Okay, he's reached teen years. Angst and raging hormones can make this a difficult period. Because of its success, we can choose a trait. Well, we can't. We have to randomly roll it. So he is lucky. I'm not sure if he was lucky in his looks. We will check him in a minute. We will check him in a moment. And he will age up quite nicely anyway. 
so... Okay. We're not going to worry about that. We're not going to worry about that. We'll clean the sink, though. Right, come on, missies, come on. Ah, you can start off. We don't care. Come on, Annie, age up for me, darling. Lord. Can you not put away leftovers? What's going on? Blow out candles, thank you. I know you want to go to bed, sweetheart, but we need to age you up. Come on. <laughs> Oh, You're not gonna have blight your candles. Come on, blight your candles, and we'll send everybody home and you can go to bed. Oh, go away, mascot. He's not going to university. Well, he might, but... There we go. Come on, we're gonna have a look what Adam looks like. There we go. Hopefully the maid will come tomorrow. Because this house needs a damn good clean. Come on. Hey, job for me, my darling. Let's have a look at you. You're probably still beautiful. There we go. She's a fully mature adult. We're going to have to do something about that hair. Right. Where is Adam? Adam is there. Let's just pause. Okay, yeah, you can you can go. Bye. She's having a midlife crisis. Don't have a midlife crisis. Right, Adam, let's just quickly take you into Enras and create a sim. Because we need to um, have a look at what you look like. Okay, we're going to create a household. I wonder if we can do everybody from this one. We should be able to. I'm so chig. No. Okay. You are not the worst looking boy in the world, but those eyebrows need changing and so does that hair. Okay, so let us change the hair and see what we can find. Um, I don't think I have that many custom content for men, if I have any. Should we make you a little bit emo? Uh, no, probably not. Uh, punk? Mm, no. No. Um, let's see. Okay, that's not too bad. What's this one? Jedwood kind of style? Yeah, we're not going to look like Jedwood. I'm sorry. Um, messy hair? Mm, that's way too much for your face. That's too much for your face. Okay, well, we'll go with a basic haircut. But your eyebrows, dude, your eyebrows. Can we change those, please? They are much better, much better, and we're going to match the root. Thank you. Um, we're not going to give you facial hair. We're not, but your clothing, your clothing needs changing. Let's be honest, you can't go around looking like that. So let's have a look at you. Why? What is going on here today? There we go. Right. So, we're going to give you some nice comfy jeans. Some comfy jeans. Let's go with purple ones. Why not? Just because we can. And let's have a look. We'll give you a nice t-shirt or a jumper or something to go with that, I think. There we go. Let's have a look. Just a t-shirt. Why not? You're not actually that bad. Your shoes. Um, No. We want boots or something with those, but not those type of boots. Like cowboy boots or Doc Martens or something like that. They're not Doc Martens, but they're close. They'll do. Okay, let's have a look at your formal. Come along. Oh, oui. oh dear. Goddess, why do you look like an alien? Okay, um, let's have a look at your formal outfits. Let's see what we've got. Just a little suit would be nice. Not that one. That's like your kind of 70s style. Oh my god, I don't know what I'm dressed like. Look. 
Uh, Indiana Jones look. That's kind of what your dad was dressed in, I think. Let's go with a proper formal suit. I think your mum would like that. Um, and she would be the one buying it for you, so you're just going to have to have what you're given. Um, black shoes. There we go. Athletics. No, this is sleepwear. Sleepwear. Sizzle. Uh, the slippers have to go, but other than that, that's acceptable to sleep in. Athletic. Athletic. Uh, no, dude. Yeah, we. I can't find any nice outfits. Let's see. Joggers. T-shirts, fine. Then runners, no. No, 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 no. Um, let's try those ones. Much better swimwear. Nayaka. <laughs> Flippers have got to go. Flippers have got to go. Okay. The rest of it I can live with. Outdoors. And we're going to have to change um, Annie's hair because oh, holy dirt, crap, you look like a dad from the 70s. I don't think so. Okay. Um... No. Okay. Outdoor wear then. We will give you some white jeans. Uh -huh. oh. Just cause. That jacket's actually quite cute. I quite like that. But not in that colour because it needs to match the um, jeans. So where is that jacket? Let's have a look. That one. They don't have it in white. Mm, well, you can have it in black. And um, let's change those shoes. Come on. You'd have proper boots in this weather. There we go for outdoor wear. Right, so you are done. You're not actually that bad looking. Um, you look like you've got a bit of an overbite. Well, sorry, an underbite going on. But we will see. We will see. Right, let's just quickly change your mother's hair because mother, no. And then we will probably end that episode. So, because she's still wearing the same clothes by the look of it. It's just the hairstyle's changed. And that hairstyle is not working for her. I'm sorry, it's not. Well, the hair she had was cute, but she probably needs to change it up a bit now that she's a full adult. I do. Which is fine. I've got no problem with changing her hair, but that hairstyle does not suit her. Tell me we didn't just crash. No, we didn't. Okay. That hairstyle doesn't suit you. You can't do something up off your face with your bone structure and not like that. I mean, that is kind of... I'm thinking of Morticia Adams. I'm sorry. Okay. Messy hair, don't care. Well, she would kind of have it up because she's got a lot of kids. Um... Let's go with that one, just thrown up and whatever. Unless we've got like a ponytail or something, like a bun. I don't think a bun would sue her. No, definitely not. Um, but we do kind of need it up, out of the way, low maintenance. Um, I can deal with this there. I mean, I think her mum had that hairstyle, actually. Just out of the way, looking kind of cute. That does not suit her face shape, though. That's the problem. Braid? The braid kind of suits her. What about this bun? Mm, that's not bad. Not bad at all. What about this high bun? No. Um... That suits her. It's kind of glamorous at the same time. Um, but the back's just a little bit plain. There we go. That looks like it could suit her. There we go. We're going to go with that one. I think it's similar to what she already had anyway, so that's fine. So, we've had quite a lot happen this episode. We've had the twins. Adam's aged up. Um, 
Annie has aged up. Er, We've had a party, so we've been able to get some extra free food and all the rest of it. Um, So we're going to end this episode right here because she's exhausted and she needs to go to bed. So if you're enjoying this series and you've enjoyed this episode, don't forget to leave me a big thumbs up. Comments and suggestions, guys, as always, in the comments box down below. And if you haven't hit subscribe yet, you don't know what you're missing, hit subscribe now and join the family. And I'm going to see you all in the next episode. Ciao for now, guys.